Good evening, everyone. Random Canuck here. So today has been a very exciting, a very uh, emotional, a very high octane, high excitement day for me and my family. Uh, today was the WHL uh, Bantam Draft, Prospect Draft, Entry Draft, whatever you want to call it. And I'm going to let something, a secret out. I'm going to let a secret out. Maybe some of my followers have figured it out already. Uh, maybe some have maybe gotten a picture put together, puzzle put together, maybe. So today was a very exciting day, a day I've been waiting for for a very long time. Not for me, per se, but for a family member. So as you guys... You subscribers that have been with me for a while have kind of seen videos been posted about the CSS, CSS, CSSHL. And a lot of those videos involving uh, Okanagan Hockey Academy Edmonton U15 prep team. Uh, on that team is a player by the name of Caden Lemaire. Caden Lemaire is my cousin's stepson. Caden Lemire was drafted today into the WHL. So I was not allowed to really talk about him. I wasn't really allowed to say anything on the channel um, because I didn't want to put his draft in jeopardy. I didn't want uh, to... You know, kind of. Well, I guess I guess really didn't want to ruin his draft stock. Um, there was a lot of juicy information I got from the WHL through my, you know, other sources, other people, um, and I really was not allowed to say anything. Um, at some games. I got to meet the the scout of or the the head general man or the general manager of the Seattle Thunderbirds, Bill Forge, who has been a family friend for a long time because his dad used to coach my uncle in the WHL with that when he was a member a member of the Regina Pats in the early nineteen eighties. Um, he told me and my cousin that day that he was trying to get Dylan Gunther. It wasn't a for sure thing, but they were trying. A few days later, they got Dylan Gunther. So that was pretty cool. But anyways, I want to go back to today. So again, those of you that have been following my channel for a while, you see these videos pop up. And the reason why I was filming those games was to get the word out about Caden Lemaire uh, my cousin steps on to maybe see if teams would view my videos to to uh, you know give them a little bit of exposure to show the 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 WHL people out there how great a player he is. So today in the second round at 37th overall, 15th pick in the second round, he was taken by the Prince George Cougars, and it was a awesome moment. It really was. Um, he is thrilled, excited to go to the Prince George Cougars. Um, I'm thrilled, excited he's going to the Prince George Cougars. And even to put the cherry on top, his teammate and longtime friend Patrick Sopiers was also drafted by the Prince George Cougars in the third round uh, at 63rd overall, I believe. Um, so it was a really... to. You know, my cousin and I have been, you know, making predictions and we had this like mile long notes and wish lists of teams. It was it was pretty extraordinary. It was pretty extravagant. And we both I think both of us really learned today that you can make all the mock drafts you want, you can make all the wish lists you want, but when it comes down to actual draft day, it's just open season for mayhem and it really was today um i don't think my cousin's mock draft lasted maybe pff, a few picks i don't think a lot of people's mock drafts really lasted I, I don't know um i did not make one i was going to make one but i just didn't have time um 
So when I and by the time the draft rolled around today, I was like, oh, I'm just gonna let the cards fall and see what happens. Um. So with that being said, obviously, uh, my new favorite team is the Prince George Cougars. I'm gonna do a video on who exactly is my favorite or who are my favorite WHL teams throughout the league. Now that this day has happened, I can really say, you know, here's how I like, I like every team in the WHL, but obviously Prince George is number one, uh, starting to, you know, they've always been my one of my favorite underdog teams, but today they jump up to number one on the list overall uh, because they drafted uh, Caden. So um, it's still kind of, today was just such a blur. Um, you know, it's 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 one thing to watch a draft uh, when you, you don't really know anybody personally in it, but when you do, it's like, holy cow. Um, there are a lot of tense moments, a lot of nervous moments, uh, a lot of excitement, and maybe some worry. Um, not a lot, though. Um, uh, he was the Cougars' second pick in the draft. He was their first forward pick. Um, he is an excellent player. I think he's going to do absolutely amazing things in Prince George. Uh, and even to make it sweeter, they grab his best friend and teammate, Patrick Sopiar. So, um, I wasn't really, I, I can't really sit here and do a video, you know, pick by pick because I just didn't, I, I knew, I know some of the players and we'll talk a little bit about it here. I'll just briefly go over it, but this video was more so to let you guys know that, Hey, Here's why I made those videos, you know, early on in the fall and winter. Um, here's why I couldn't really, you know, say outright what was going on in the WHL. Um, I had to keep things kind of zip lip. Um, you know, it was really cool to kind of get that kind of insider information kind of thing on some things. I mean, I'm not going to say everything, but um, I did know about the Dylan Gunther move possibly before it happened so that's pretty cool um and you know um it i'm very happy to see uh caden get drafted i look forward to coming to prince george for a game uh i can't wait to get merchandise all that stuff i already got a couple hats on my wish list saved from their shop so um yeah i think Prince George did a heck of a job today in the draft. They had three picks in the third round. I think they had a couple in the fourth. I think they had, yeah, they had one in the first um, at 15th overall. But let's just talk about it real quickly here. Who did go in the first round? And do remember the uh, Prince Albert Raiders uh, had back-to-back -back picks, first and second overall. At first overall, they took Dax and Rudolph from NAX. Uh, this was a no-brainer. Um, apparently they've been talking to him for a very long time. Uh, they got a heck of a player there. The second pick, however, this is when the chaos happened. Uh, Riley Boychuk goes to Prince Albert second overall. Did not think he was going to go that high. Matthias Preston, or Matthias Preston, I'm sorry. I don't know if the, goes number three overall to Spokane. Spokane did a heck of a job today at the draft. They have a bright, bright future. The Victoria Royals getting who I think is the second best defenseman, or to me the best defenseman in the in the draft, Keaton Verhoff. Um, it would have been cool to see Caden go to Victoria to play with Keaton Verhoff, uh, but it just wasn't meant to be. Uh, Royals are going to be damn good if they can get this rebuild completed. Uh, number five, Jacob Jacob Jack Jacobson Jackson Jacobson, excuse me, going number five to the Brandon Wheat Kings. Uh, Riley Lind going to the Vancouver Giants. Vancouver, another team I was hoping that would take Caden. Um, I just really like their program. I like the WHL uh, play or NHL type caliber players. They they pump out seems to be year after year. Uh, Muner uh, goes to Prince Albert. Prince Albert had the first second first second and seventh overall picks in the draft. Brett Olson goes number eight to the Vancouver Giants. Liam Ruck, uh, Ruck brother number one, goes to the Medicine Hat Tigers. And then in the second last pick, Marcus Ruck, his brother, goes to Medicine Hat in a trade that was originally the Saskatoon Blades. Uh, Noah Kosick goes number 11 to the Calgary Hitman. Uh, Jerome McGinley's son, um, oh God, I, I don't know what his first name is. Uh, he goes to the Edmonton Oil Kings at number 12th overall. Pav uh, Paveo 
uh, goes number 13 to the uh, Tri-City Americans. Dane Buker goes to uh, the Lethbridge Hurricanes, and that was another spot where we maybe thought Caden would go in the first round. Uh, uh, Carl's, or Carl's goes to Prince George at number 15. That was their first pick just before they picked Caden. Uh, and then after, there really wasn't anybody that I kind of really knew. Um, so after that, it was just a complete massive wild card names until we got to Marcus Ruck at 21. I honestly thought Marcus Ruck was going to go way higher than number 21, but Medicine Hat wanted those two brothers. So, and I think they were a package deal. Um, I think that was kind of the thing that, you know, any team that took them, took one, had to take the other. Um, I was surprised Saskatoon traded that pick and, um, you know, um, I think Caden was on Saskatoon's radar, but I think maybe they thought maybe they could get him later. I'm not too sure what the thought process was there, but yeah, good Tigers are going to have a damn good team. Like, holy cow. So yeah, there, there is that. And then, uh, yeah, in the, uh, in the second round, yeah, Caden goes, uh, 37th overall to, to Prince George. And Dugay goes to Portland at number 39. And then the two picks, back-to-back -back picks. There were two back-to-back -back picks made by uh, Saskatoon Williams and Bud. And then Johnson or Johnston and Kozlicki both went to Prince George in the second round as well. So those were the three first-round picks for Prince George in that third round. So um, I know this is a little different from any type of, you know, reviews I do on the drafts and kind of things, but... Um, to be honest, I knew this year was going to be different because of the circumstances with an actual family member being involved. So, um, I knew it was going to be very different. So it was more so of a, okay, I got to let the secret out of the bag, cat out of the bag here. So, um, yeah, no, I think Caden's going to do absolutely great in Prince George. I can't wait to get up there and, and, and see a game at some point this season. I'm interested to see what their road schedule looks like. Uh, next season, I'm, I'm hoping they come to Saskatoon, Calgary, you know, places I want to go to to see a game in the WHL. I'm, I'm not 100% sure how that's going to work. Uh, I do know they come to Edmonton because it, it's not that far for them to get to Edmonton. So, um, so yeah, I'm very excited. Um, I'm now a full-on Prince George Cougar fan. Here we go. Uh, and obviously it's going to take, you know, it's not like the NHL where, you know, you could play right away next year. Uh, it, that's not the case. Uh, I believe Caden's going to be playing uh, on OHA um, Edmonton uh, U18. Uh, I believe that's the path we're gonna. He's going to go. Um, they could call him up um, at maybe near the end of the season. Uh, he maybe could get some preseason game. Um, I mean, I'm pretty sure he'll go to training camp. Um, it's it's going to be a very interesting journey, and uh, I can't wait to see what what happens. So, anyways, I'm going to end the video there. Uh, but yeah, there there's the secret that I've been holding on for a very long time, and I knew after today I could finally tell you guys. And um, yeah, it's it's going to be an amazing uh, journey for Caden, and uh, he put in a lot of hard work, and he absolutely deserves this this reward and. Uh, I know he's very driven. He's very committed. Um, he he is going to do great things for the Prince George Cougars, and, and same thing with Patrick Sopiars. I think with his friend and teammate being there, I think maybe they got the next, you know, Dreisaitl and McDavid. Who knows? So, but, um, no, it's it's going to be cool, and, and I do think this is going to be one of the best deeper drafts in the WHL that we've seen in a long time. Um I know there were still a lot of surprise picks and stuff like that from, you know, some fan standpoint, but uh, that's just the way drafts go. Um, you won't know your winners and losers of a draft until, you know, especially a WHL draft till maybe, you know, maybe six, eight years down the road. Who knows? So, because uh, you got to remember these kids are mostly just 14 or 15 years old. Um, and so they technically really can't start playing, I believe, in WHL until they're 16. So, Still got a couple of years left, um, but you know, barring any you know preseason pre games, you know, end of the season regular season games, that kind of thing. So, uh, but yeah, it's there's some very good there's some very good hockey players that were taken in this draft, and I got to see some of these guys before they even step on the ice in the WHL, 
So that is very cool. So anyways, I'm going to wrap this up. Um, Caden, if you're watching, congratulations. You're a member of the WHL. You're a member of the Prince George Cougars, Patrick Sopriars. Uh, congratulations to you as well. And congratulations to all who have been drafted uh, today in the WHL, whether it's first round, fourth round, sixth round, eighth round, last round. Um, you know, uh, and to those that didn't get drafted, there are still some very, very good players that did play in the WHL that did not get drafted in the WHL and went on to be uh, NHL superstars. So uh, just keep up the good hard work and, and, and you can get there. Anyways, this has been the Random Canuck. We'll talk to you guys soon. I got one more video coming to you tonight. Um, but yeah, we will talk to you guys soon. Bye for now.